When we think about Fabriano, the heart melts with joy and unconditional love. And today, I am here with a panelist along with my dear friend Vivier from France. And then the joy and emotion gets multiplied. Hello everyone, I am Rahul Chakravarti, a traveler watercolorist and a member of Fabriano in Aquarello. We are here today to have a discussion about competition and ethics of art. As well, as we all know, this topic is sensitive and quite dynamic in nature. Our intention is to sow seeds, to open up debates, discussion, reflection, but not to judge and hurt anyone. Our viewpoint is absolutely based upon our experiences and our observation. We'd like to talk about two perspectives here in terms of artist point of view and another one is from society's organization or association point of view. I would request Didier to start today's discussion. Didier, please. Hello everyone, I'm Didier Bro. I'm the French leader for Fabriano in Aquarello. And today we are called upon all over the world to participate more and more in real and virtual exhibitions, in contests, in competitions. This is a real world used in, on the web in particular, but also in magazines. Who has never seen or read this? Don't miss this opportunity to be one of the best watercolorists of. Enter our competition and you will be exhibited at the next 3W company exhibition. Win, I don't know how many, maybe 500 euros, for example, by participating in the competition. Buy my course and you might have the chance to win an opportunity to exhibit in the next issue of the magazine. Who has never participated in it and said to themselves, why not me? Raoul, please, did you already do some contests, some competitions during your artist life? And can you give us some explanations of the why? True, this is, uh, this is nicely, uh, this night question is really appreciated. Yeah, I participated over twice uh, in last seven years. It's very few times I have participated. Initially, when I started my career in art, I found that there was an urge uh, to prove myself in art world. Uh, it seems like to get the attention of the surroundings, even wanted to see what, up my, uh, what is my competence level, actually. Uh, by the way, winning money from the art competition was never my motivation uh, to participate in such contest. After that, I stopped participating in this kind of contest as I found it does not add any value to my art. Since no competition or contest share why our art is not credible to win or what are the improvements I need to have, then that's why I lost the interest in those cases. But in recent times, uh, during this pandemic, it has been observed that there is an upsurge in the numbers of online art competitions. All of a sudden, it becomes a trend and every minute there is some kind of context and course or online engagement. So my question is to Didier, uh, why are we doing this kind of contest and this kind of competition? Why do we want to participate more and more um, in whatever come along? What does this bring to us and what is costing us as well? So many questions to you, Didier, go ahead. Okay, thank you, Raoul. Um, first of all, I, I will try to explain quickly at the level of the individual, of the artist that we are, why many of us have these inclinations, this need, this desire to participate in this contest, these competitions. Indeed, we can always find many positive points to justify our participation in these visibly enticing proposals, such as first and foremost, find the motivation, the strength to paint, to go to our workshop or to paint outdoors and take a blank sheet of paper, especially in these difficult times of a pandemic. But this can also allow us to obtain opinions, advices from other painters, jurors, to progress. 
Unfortunately, it is only very rarely or even exceptionally that you will have explanations and analyses on your work, on your selection, and on your failure. Certain competitions also allow admission to a national watercolor society. This will allow us to exhibit with other renowned watercolorists, so to get us a certain national or even international audience, a certain visibility which could perhaps help us in our career, and maybe open doors for us, give us opportunities. But let's not kid ourselves. Let's not delude ourselves. There are many called and few chosen. Or quite simply, to be part of a group, of an association, which could favor the mixture of ideas, the contribution of influences or different things to form a world different or new. A more collective, less egocentric will, a possibility to promote watercolor first, rather than one or a few artists. How? Here are some elements that can explain the desire to participate in this competition. Reasons, after all, quite understandable and not necessarily very negative. But unfortunately, more and more often, the collective side, the pooling of ideas, the promotion of her art, more than those of the few elected officials, all these positive points decrease and the axes occur even multiply. Please, Raoul, why are these groups, associations and societies developing so much and, and why are they offering more and more such events? Yes, that is very inevitable and valid questions. Why so much of offering, which is competition and contest? Uh, firstly, I absolutely oppose the usage of term competition or contest. These terms are basically applicable for sports, but in art, why these terms? We might need to find some other suitable term, isn't it? I don't want to make responsible only for the organizer in these cases. In this age, people are looking for instant fame, stardom, to put, to promote themselves on social media and artists are not exceptional in these cases. So there are a tendency of artists to engage themselves with the art through self-promotion, building social networks, and to prove their competence level. It is grossly visible that building networking and self-promotion is getting more prioritized than self-development as a creator. And I want to repeat that same thing again. Artist has a tendency to building networks and self-promotion, and they are more into it. And I found that, that um, out of this behavior, organizers also take advantages to match this demand. They have started supplying art competition, contest, or many kinds of online engagements to match this demand, and which are really generic and network-based. The more networks, the more contestants, contestants you can get. And in this frame, curators and artists also take part. Offerings uh, are nowadays more in number due to pandemic. That is very common because people are inside the home. They cannot able to go out, cannot meet the people. And when our absolutely all our physical meeting literally shattered, we have immediately started an instant module that is online competition. From the beginning, the goal of these segments, that is the organization, societies, curators, they has to clear their goal very, very yes. transparent. The goal can be subdivided into many small goals like promote and educate artists, support talented artists, organize art trips, create content for the next generation, create platform, it might be online and offline, sustainability, profit making events, etc. I believe with the intention of creating a community where artists can work exhibit, meet, and have fun together, societies, organization, and association also do it for money. To earn money, to run the society or organization, and earn money at an individual level, which is not at all bad. 
in that sense but they need to clear their objective and need to promote in that manner the curator organizer or association has to clear their intention about non profit and profit making goals there are a couple of pros and cons of both of the side of non profit and profit making association as for organizations unfortunately too often sometimes even all the time need to decide what they will offer to the community tangible or intangible new or reconditions with the same old stuff business or charity will they try to help empower every artist or will they discriminate by choosing few people or artist who will decide everything competition or collaboration the possibilities are many but few are those which only favor the art and the artist that i can say yes i will but um, can you explain uh, a little more please yes um, i know that we risk offending a lot of our friends who organize this kind of events and uh, who create new groups association certainly in all good faith and will that is for sure but when we create a community let's be very careful about what kind of community we want to create as a visioner as a as a supporter of a uh, community and uh, and this kind of thing that you need to understand okay and let's be careful about the type of community we actually partner with for the artist i want to say there is nothing wrong in learning from the mistakes or shortcomings of others it is unfair to call them a competitor or to want to rank them out because we cannot be judgmental and uh, because when we start talking about competition the problem starts there and from that point we start to act like them with new packaging we behave and somehow communicate knowingly or unknowingly like them so uh, just to turn this uh, portion from my side to your side i want to ask divya can you add your perspective on the same divya please okay thank you all uh, even if at the beginning the will of the creators of the organizers of such events uh, competitions was good the system the organization the vocabulary can lead to drifts and take precedence over the initial spirits and whatever they do they won't be able to prevent what the very superficial aspect of these competitions almost systematically between oneself always the same who compete always the same who judge always the same who win participate in competitions to be able to post to prove that we exist even if deep down we know very well that, that this is very arbitrary very subjective does it really matter to be here or there to have been chosen for this or for that we deceive ourselves to simply satisfy a bad ego advisor let's ask ourselves the right question is it only for my painting or for what i represent that i was chosen in some cases it is for both but alas not always let's stop believing or rather make believe via social networks that we are great painters because we were chosen for such or such other competitions such exhibitions surely our family our friends outside the watercolor world will think that we have become stars but let's be honest be realistic be pragmatic aware lucid etc and don't let ourselves be blind by our egos on the very subjective side of judgments often we don't judge your painting but rather you or worse what you represent if you are important to me and that you can bring me i will choose you i will propose to you to participate i will make you believe that you are important that you are a good painter 
the network becomes more important than artistic qualities. And then, what did we win? What have we lost? Often money, mostly, a lot of money, and time, lost of time. And sometimes that brings us disillusion too. And in addition, we saturate the data centers with photo, with a lot of video, which consume more and more and which pollute more and more, but in an invisible and slight silent way. Art and competition, is it compatible? This leads to jealousy and misunderstandings because art is very subjective. Which one likes will not please the other. And that's good. And the network stronger than work. The competitions stronger than art. So ethic will be lost. But we have many other reasons for hope, many signs of optimism. There are groups that are doing well. And we are here at the moment only to underline and provoke discussions, reactions about these subjects. So, uh, Raul. Yeah, I want to just uh, uh, with the, continue with you, uh, another, with another questions. Uh, do you have in your life an experience and knowledge of such an organization, group or association? Uh, Yes, so far in my life uh, as a watercolor artist, I have found this in two or three groups, maybe, and especially within Fabriano in Aquarello. It's not a company, it's not an association, it's not a business. These are just meetings between people who share the same love for watercolor. There is no value judgment. There is no competition. Each has its place. Regardless of the culture, regardless of the development of watercolor in the country, regardless of the technical level, regardless of the artistic quality, all are welcome. How many times have I heard in my own country eminent members of the French Watercolor Society denigrate Fabriano in Aquarello for lack of quality without taking into account cultures, traditions, but also often the difficulties of practicing watercolor in some countries. Be careful not to misinterpret our words. It is not a question here of condemning and prohibiting all possibilities of contests, competitions or other events. Else, why to continue to organize Fabriano and Aquarello and many other good events? It's just a matter of sounding the alarm and saying, be careful, this is becoming a generality and longer an exception. Art is not sport. Art is cooperation, harmony and not competition or antagonism. Art is empathy, brotherhood and not a winner and a vanquished. Especially since in times of pandemic and confinement, the temptations and possibilities are increased tenfold for the virtual. The exhibitions are virtual, the competitions are virtual. In the age of digital media, instant change is inevitable. The artist must try out new technologies, of course. He must surely master digital means to exhibit his artworks, learn and share via live broadcasting. All of this is part of this new trend, but Suddenly, we are alone, and we will be more and more alone. If the mov movement sorry, accelerates and spreads, then the social, the convivial aspect of art will be lost. So, let's be careful, let's be patient. Don't rush, don't get locked into competitions, contests. Let's share. Let's invite each other in small groups to paint together, to discover each other, to learn from others. But don't oppose, don't compare, don't compete. It's not the good way. So, please, Raoul, do you have a, a few words to, to conclude the, this discussion, please? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it is very uh, 
very uh, difficult for me to conclude here because there are a lot of topics that uh, we actually wanted to discuss about and in this case uh, where I, we have found that it is not a, a kind of uh, passive comments or passive thought it is to open our uh, open our uh, mind framework and uh, to understand that what is actually going on what is sustainable and what is trained um, so unnecessarily uh, creating something uh, can cause a lot of damages, a lot of pollution, uh, visually and uh, with the sound and in all respect to the nature as well. So when uh, we reach the conclusion of today's topic, uh, I, I would like to repeat the same that our intention was to sow the seeds, uh, to open up debates, uh, discussions, reflections, but certainly not to judge and hurt anyone. Yes. You are the base judge to take decision in your life and in your art. It is up to you whether you want to develop your artistic skills or develop the network. Whether you want to participate in contest or go to an um, objective oriented workshop to add value in your art life or you want to balance all of it. And also for the organization, organizers, societies, or the curators, you need to state your goal very clear that whether you want to create a generic con contest to earn the money or a feedback oriented platform for artists from where artists would learn whether you would like to create an environment to applaud or recognize each other internally or expands your horizon for recognizing fresh talents. I might not be concluding here uh, than raising points to think to the art world. And thank you all for listening to us. Thank you, my dearest friend Didier Brot from France for your wonderful support and thought. Thank you, Anna Masinisa, uh, our curator of Fabiano in Acarello for providing this platform, not for us, for the entire art societies and the communities uh, and to us to reach to the larger community last but the not least thank you fabriano thank you very much ciao okay thank you everybody and see hope to see you soon